Today I'm going to show you how to use the Omron in-body scale. So this Omron in-body scale, it does a bioelectrical impedance, which is a small electrical circuit that runs from your feet all the way up to your hands. Will you feel it? Absolutely not. Okay. Fat is a bad conductor, so the more fat you have, the less conductivity it's going to work. So I'm going to quickly show you how to video, and then I'm going to show you the numbers, I'm going to show you what they represent, and then I'm going to show you what goals you should be set. So number one is you want to make sure that the scale is on a flat surface. And if it's not, that's okay because it's going to calibrate anyways, but obviously if you step on there and it's wobbling, the number is going to change. So make sure that it's flat. Number two is you just pick up the handle, put it in your hand, and you turn it on at the front, okay? So there's a button at the front, not on top. Everybody tries to go on top. You want to hit the button at the front. So it calibrated and it went to zero, okay? So that means that it's leveled and the number is steady. Then you're going to hit guest. You're going to enter your age. You're going to enter male or female. And then you're going to enter in your height, okay? So you're just hitting up until you hit your height, okay? So after you've done the guest, you set your age, you've pressed up or down to your height, you hit set, now it's going to lock it in. So then you want to make sure that you get onto the scale with no shoes. Your feet are covering up as much of the metal part as possible. And you have your hands onto the metal parts. You're going to let the weight rock in. You're going to see that it's going to blink your weight. You cannot get off. What you want to do is you want to make sure that it gives it time so that it can read your body fat, muscle mass, visceral fat, et cetera, et cetera. So after it does, it'll lock in your weight solid. That's when you can get off. Now, you to find out what your numbers is, it's gonna put your weight. So you write your weight down. Then you click on body fat. So there's your body fat, 14.7. The next one is showing you muscle. So muscle, 41.8. Visceral fat, seven. Then I like to look at body age. So my body age is 34, as you guys saw. I'm 41 years old. Let's go, baby. And that's it. That's the numbers. That's all you have to record. So when it comes to using the scale, that's it. Okay, so now in the second part of this video, I want to go over what these numbers need. But if you just need to know how to use the scale, you're done. When it comes to body fat, this is how much body fat you have within your body. Okay, it's pretty self-explanatory. Now when it comes to what numbers you should be, well, safe for men would be anything between 12 and 16%. Like once you get into that low 10% body fat, you're a little bit too low and there could be subject to injury, especially if you're playing sports. Um, it's very hard to maintain staying under 10%. So anywhere between 12 and 16 would be a good target for men. Now when it comes to females, it just depends on how much fat are you distributing because not all females are created equal. And the thing about females is that you carry hormones and you're you know, designed to, to bear children. And as such, your body wants to retain more body fat in the form of estrogen. So your body fat is going to be higher than, let's say, a male's. So a safe number for females on the low scale would be you know, around that 15 to 18 to 20 percent. A normal range is between that 18 to about 24%. That's a nice athletic number for you. High would be considered anything over 30. That's where the majority of people are sitting, when, especially when they come into Fit Club and into the 50s. Well, now we basically have way more fat than we have muscle, and that's going to lead to a lot of different problems. Okay, so that's what happens with your body fat. Now, when it comes to your muscle mass, for males, we would like to be anything over 35. Okay, so 35 to 40 is considered very good, very athletic. Anything under 30 means that we got to put in work at the gym. When it comes to being having like extreme muscle that people can see, it's visible, and you're able to do a lot more functionally, anything over 40 to 45 is amazing. I've seen some people get around 40 seven, but I've never seen more than 50% muscle on this scale. So if you're that high in muscle, like you are a lean machine. For females, if you can be between 30 and 35, that would be great. That's a great number. If you can get from 35 to 40, the women that I've seen in that category are extremely lean and they have you know a very good figure. Anything over 40, that's a lot of muscle. I've seen some women, women get over 40, but they don't usually stay there. So, but if you're over 40, that's amazing. Like, good on you. Muscle that you don't want to see is anything around 20%. Like, if you're in that low between 20, 
like 18 to like 25%, that's considered extremely low. And if you're just getting started, that's okay. It's a starting point. But if you have been working out for a long period of time and that is your muscle mass, that means that we need to start now challenging you a little bit more to push a little bit harder, to lift more weights, to build that muscle. When it comes to your body age, so your body age, the scale has done a comparison of all the stats that you put in. So you like your height, your weight, and your age, and then they took all the numbers that it scanned through and they put it into a column like here's normal, here's fit, here's, so right now they're saying based on the stats that I put in of my body fat, visceral fat, muscle, etc., that these numbers with my weight are in alignment with somebody that's younger than me. So that's a good thing. You always want to be younger in your body age than you actually are, right? Your body age, you don't want it to be more, you want it to be less. If it's higher, that's okay. We have work to do. If you're younger, you need to celebrate that and good job. When it comes to visceral fat, this is the scary fat. So anything seven, between five and seven is considered normal and really healthy. Seven to 10 is now starting to creep up. Anything below like five is considered extremely lean. I've seen a lot of women at the gym have this. These are usually the non-big eaters. They constantly exercise. They're usually like the very lean individuals that you know just don't carry body fat anyways. So if you're between that, let's say five to about eight range, I would say that's normal and healthy. If you're getting above the 10, now we're considering unhealthy habits. If you're closer to 20, now you've got extreme problems when it comes to storing fat on your vital organs, which can lead to heart conditions or stuff like diabetes. So we need to start making changes ASAP. And the last one here I don't really use, which is the RM Cal. So this is saying if I want to remain the exact size, body fat, weight, et cetera, et cetera, then this is the amount of calories that I need to consume every single day. But this again depends upon that person. This is me with no activity. You factor in my activity, you factor in my muscle mass, this number is going to change drastically. So I don't really use this as a tool to determine how many calories I use. I usually set that up for myself or my belly burners. But if you wanna go by this because you don't have those resources available, then there it is right there. So there we go guys, full explanation of the video. I hope that helped. Give the video a like. Make sure that you're tracking yourself every single month along with tracking photos and also how are your clothes fitting. You have three methods, the scale, how your clothes are fitting, and then also photos of just showing your body. So give the video guys a like, hit the subscribe button. Let me know if there's any other videos you want me to do, but we'll see you on the next one.